Whoa there. Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. Son. Alpha Series, I believe. Now, Rapture's full of scientific wonderments just like you. And if we can sell them to the world at my price, well, curing your condition ought to be a cakewalk. Once we find Eleanor, the sky's the limit. I was hired to engineer a park the likes of which no man has seen. Now all I do is watch over it like a grizzled sheepdog. My first line of mechanical puppets made the children here cool with wonder. But Ryan thought my vision was immature. Antiquated, he said. This place could have been something magical. But instead, he turned it into a school. No, a cathedral. Dedicated to himself. <laughs> Jam dandy. That'll get you in the park. But buying incinerate's gonna cost Adam. It's a sort of genetic goo that lets you rewrite whatever God gave you. The little sisters carry the stuff, as you may recall, so you'll need to locate one. I heard whispering near the El Dorado Lounge. Have a look. Get yourself in! No fuck-ups this time! Daddy! Oh! Okay,
Andrew Ryan wakes one night while cruising the Atlantic in his steam liner, the Olympia. Your kind ain't welcome here. <laughs> Used to be, there was no margin in the run of the gift shop. I couldn't hardly sell off this tourist crap for a penny more than the cost of manufacture. Then, I met a straight shooter named Sinclair, and he laid a sweet deal on me. Says he's got some hard luck folks down at Popper's Drop can whip up this junk at half the cost I used to pay. Yeah, I had to pick a needle or two out of the ship for this one. All in all, nobody's the wiser, and I'm all the richer. Of junk. You broke it, didn't you, Edna? Everything you touch turns to shit! Mean. You're mean, Roger. It was probably your clumsy, fat hands that loused it up. Typical broad. Stay away from things you don't know nothing about. You're not. Oh, has no need of a lummox. Seems like everybody's on the go these days. Everybody but you. You still haven't experienced Ryan Industries' new spring line of plasmids. Isn't it about time you got caught up? Evolve today. Until you arrive, Father, I'm trapped here. Smuggling these gifts out is the most I can do to help. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for... <laughs> Eleanor Lamb speaking. Mom says I'm not to play with the other children because they're being raised on a diet of dog-eat-dog. Dog. 
I wanted to see these dog eaters. So I waited until Mum was gone and went out to find one. And guess what? The dog eaters were human. Now that Big Daddy won't bite until you do. But to get to Lil Sis, you gotta put the old boy down for good. Just let her ride on your shoulders and she'll trust you like her own daddy. I'm telling you. We're in business. Now, there are corpses all over Rapture and little dimples there can sniff out the atom on them. Find one. She's got a juicy one, but when she starts draining out the atom, the splashes will come running. Be re ready before you set her down on that body. is a child of the family, not a toy for you to exploit and discard. It is fitting that you expire here. One more forgotten curio in Ryan's shrine to the self. Here they come. Keep the splashes off her now till she's finished or they'll never give up the hunt. Stakes, son. But a plasmid costs a bit more atom yet. Keep it up. Told you about 
this one. Make him listen. Why, hello there. My name is Andrew Ryan. I built a city of rapture for children just like you. Because the world above had become unfit for us. But here, beneath the ocean, it is natural to wonder if the danger has passed. If those we left behind will ever come to their senses. So, let us imagine, you and I, what I would force on the surface. <laughs> in my supplies ever since the park got cut off from the rest of Rapture. Gotta stay strong. I do not hate you, Delta. Indeed, I care for you in equal measure to any other sentient creature. But I cannot sacrifice a thousand of my children for one rebellious son. Thank <laughs> you. 
We've almost got enough Adam now. To get the rest, you'll have to take care of that little sister. There should be one of the air vents they favor in the workshop. Bring her down there. 